Um, she was a focus. We already did that. Um, you're the leader. Uh, leadership changes whenever there's a transition within the story. That's just crazy. That's like a centimeter. I know, right? It, it's pretty. Pre now, now that I know what it's for, I'm, I'm happy about it. I can't believe you didn't know that. I like, literally, no. in like two seconds, I realized that this yeah, day well, night token was this day night token. Uh, you know. Daytime. Daytime. Well, actually, it's even better than that because actually, what this is, this represents all the forces in the game. Uh, so if you ended up animal, fire, wolf, tree, lizard, and Jew, pretty much. Because I mean, you're witch hunter. If you were, did you pick bounty hunter or did you pick the? Uh, I I picked I picked inquisitor. Yeah. So if you're a bounty hunter, this is, if you take a look, it matches the symbols on that talisman. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I picked the inquisitor though because I felt inquisitor had a bit more beef to it. Yeah. All right. More, a little more meat on those bones. You have traveled far, entering the territory of mountains and hills. Forests and ancient paths. Sorry, there's an end in the mess me up. Um, as you near your destination, an impressive veil descends as the sky becomes dim. The stagecoach you hired approaches an old stone building. Uh, oh, are we? Right there, where this little guy is. Okay. Uh, approaches an old steel building with a belfry and an enormous arched wooden front doors, whose scrollwork tells tales of horror and redemption. The coach rolls to a stop, and you exit to stand before the Church of the Crossroads. The church is an age-old monument and gateway to this ancient mountainous territory. As you near the wooden doors to head inside, you hear the sounds of a struggle from within. Uh, entering the church, you see an old curator cowering at the hands of highwaymen. highwaymen are ragged, the highwaymen are ragged and filthy with the dangerous edge of the desperate. They demand food and valuables. All right, so now we've got a skill check right off the bat. Okay, cool. Um, so we are going to do a... Story skill check. Mm -hmm. We have to do a speech check of eight. Can be done by any character. I don't have any speech skills. Do you have speech? Is that what these are? That's yeah. Right? Skills? Skill. I have faith, nerve, and occult. You have no speech. All I right. can beat the crap out of them because I'm in a close letter, maybe. We may end up having to do that. Okay. Um, right, Kit. Okay. That's cool. Because uh, she... Okay. Cool. Um, so any character can do this. Any one character. So do you want as the leader do the, the skill check on this or do you want someone else to try uh, who's, the, who's the leader? You are. I am? Yeah. Um, does anybody have a better chance? I mean, just because... Uh, have, I don't have any speech skill, no. I don't have any speech skill, so we are equal. We are equal. So it's all done. all about your die roll. Okay, well, uh, so no difference between me doing D10. it and you. So D10? Yep. Okay, and what am I looking for? You are looking for eight or better. Wow, that's not hard at all. How about a four? That will not be good. So we end up going into skirmish with the high women. Uh... And then, let's see, Highwaymen. So what ends up happening is we find Highwaymen, and I wish I had made this alphabetical order. There we go. Yeah. Highwaymen. And the Highwaymen, every monster in this game has two sides. This is an encounter side, mm -hmm. which would be a standard miniature battle. Then this is the uh, scrimmer side. So we're going to put this guy down. How would you do the miniature battle? Miniature battle is... Do, 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 do. Oh, you whip out the you whip out them boards? Yep. Cool. Is that normal with the game? Yep. Cool. Yeah. Does it make the game longer? Uh, it depends on how many you encounter. Wait, where are the minis, by the way? Oh, sorry, standees. Everything's standees. Oh, okay. So we might actually want to find your guy for... So we go here and we take a look at the character counts. There's <coughs> only two of us. Okay. So we end up taking black D4. Roll it. So they start with power of four. Or technically there's... In theory, four of them. All right. Um, so. Wait, you, you covered up the four, so they have five. No. It they, goes down. Oh, that's how it works. I thought these were like stats. Gotcha. Nope. Dumb. All right. So, how this works is. Do, 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 do. Skirmish. So. Ha. Huh. Skirmish rules. So. <clears throat> I'm dashing. All right, skirmishing. All right, so we determined strength. So, determine skirmish base. Okay, we did that. So we placed skirmish marker. We did. So attack or defend. So you decide now whether you're going to attack or defend. If you defend, you get a plus defense of ten, but you then get a minus ten to your might. Right. Your might is what you use to smack them. Um, what you're going to end up doing is you're going to be rolling your percentile dice. 
Now, when I say percentile dice to a veteran person like you, do you on automatically know that you're rolling two dice? Yeah, of course. That already happens to the side. Okay, cool. I know. Uh, what well, I, I wasn't sure, and we're we're only Dude, rolling, we're, to? we're only rolling. I've been this. gaming longer. You've been alive. Yeah, we were only rolling this when we were doing it to begin with. We didn't realize we were supposed to roll both. Well, percentile does have a is, is a value out of a hundred. Yeah. Um, <coughs> I have a forty-five percent chance. Okay. All right. So chance. roll five. You could roll a zero. I'm going to attack. Okay. So the creature now takes a turn. So I am to the right of you. So I am the controller for the bad guys. Okay. So we roll percentile dice for them. 69. 69 is not good because it's higher than our defense value. If mine's 36 and yours is 38. 38. So we get hit. So right now we lose 1d4 Vita. We oh, which we should have probably set on our little cards here. Oh, three. So Vida is 20. What's yours? Three. And your power points is... Wait, you're an archaeologist, and I'm a witch hunter, and I have less hit points than you? Apparently. Like, I am a witch hunter. I hunt witches. I, you know, I don't look like Vin Diesel. You're an archaeologist, and somehow you have more hit points than me. Yeah. Obviously, I'm very fragile. You're a very fragile witch hunter. So I took four hits... Now, can I do anything special with this? So nope. I take four hits, right? So I take four damage? No, you take one d4. You roll your own d one d4. Oh. Yeah. One. one. When you use ah, a consumable ah, instead of ah. discarded. Okay, so I can't block anything, so I take four. Okay. So I go down to 19. All right, so now... Well, so, uh, where are the minis? There are no minis. I didn't get I the minis. I'm thinking there's minis. Yeah. Oh, you could have gotten minis. For another fifty-three bucks Canadian, it was like it was it was more it was more than that when I went to U.S. Right. Okay. All right. Um. So if the ro total attack roll of the highwayman is eighty-five plus, they cause two damage. Uh, two plus two damage. So they didn't, which is good. So now it's our turn. So depends on who you who wants to go first. As a leader, I guess you should probably go first. So you okay. roll your percentile dice. I roll my percentile dice. Come and you need to get higher than his defense value, which is forty-two. Why? They're all more powerful than me. I'm a witch hunter. I'm obviously not a very good witch hunter. 19, witch hunter 7. Now, if you had rolled a natural 100, so a zero, 0 mm -hmm. you would have done a devastating strike. Wow. And the die, in D&D, in, in D &D, I thought natural 20s were rare enough. You're going to roll a natural 100? Well. That was quite literally five times more rare. <laughs> It is, yes, yeah, but but I, I I'm I'm roll I'm I'm rolling in the fact that if you get zero zero and like something else on this, it still counts. Because how can you roll zero zero and zero, right? Because technically zero on this would be ten, so you could never actually roll one hundred naturally, unless you rolled like a ninety one. Except is there a zero? Uh, there is. Oh, there is a zero. In which case, you're right. Yes, if you roll, if you roll a. If you roll a zero, zero, then yeah, so that is technically a one in ten chance. Yeah. So. So anyway, I rolled a 97. So you hit. So now what you do is you roll your attack die for your weapon. Now, we're probably also going to want to do this because you only have three shots per uh, battle. Is that the only weapon? Yours, yes. But you have... I have a sword on my back. You have a damage modifier, so if you have oh. no weapons, you still can do damage with so, cuffs. Okay. I know, right? And I also might want to add three shots in the arrow. I count one, two, three, <laughs> four, five, six in the scavenger's illustration. I I have an issue with that. I always have an issue so with that. So gain plus five might with ranged weapons during the first round of combat usable during skirmish. Cool. What What is that and how want to use it? So then basically you just go and then it's used. So now you'll get... Uh, actually, that's not necessary right now, but it's only usable in the first round anyway. So, eh. It would have been so your might is what's determining your hit. So when you rolled the percentile, that was your might. Oh, you know, I would have had a plus five. Yeah, you so would have I would have had one hundred and three. Gotcha. Correct. One hundred and two. Plus also your might I, over here, so you would have had one hundred and seven. Oh, and it's, yeah, forgot about that one. You have superior skill or rooting your enemies. We roll a missed range attack or recover one ammo usable during the skirmish. Gotcha. There you go. Gotcha. All right, so I'm gonna roll. Yep. Roll good. I roll three. So then you have your plus damage modifier, which is plus two, so six. So that means that you... I screwed up. Um, you know, this is your game. 
I know, right? The number, I cannot say the number of times. It's not a game goes by that we play a game that you get wrong. Yeah. You got one hit because you succeeded. We use the we use this dice when we go into an encounter. In a skirmish, you don't. So it's just you you got hit above his defense value. You smacked him. So that's one. So now. I'm not rolling for damage. No. Why? Because we're not doing the tabletop. Yeah, because it's another minute. Well, uh, standing portion. I'm robbed. It is. So this is uh, 56. So that is also a hit. So they go down. Another one. So actually, I have a plus one right here. With that being, I would have gotten plus one damage on top of that. Correct. If we were in a yeah, yeah. I would have inflicted like three. I would have six damage. Trust me. That would be very helpful when you end up taking on something like these guys, and that's their hit points. 26? Yeah. How many points, how many points would he have, then? Uh, if, you, if you flip this thing over, and was it two players? Yeah. 16. Yeah. They take a little while to wear it out. Yeah, because God knows they're just bandits. So, now we're back to the beginning of the, um, the round where you decide whether or not you're going to defend or attack. Now, if you, you can still attack if you defend, which I forgot to tell you. I'm sorry. Um, but you're going to be doing it at a minus 10 might. I actually didn't even establish what I was doing. I didn't say defend or That's right. true. I just, I, I guess I attacked then because I didn't make any modifier. And I'm going to attack again this time. Okay. Ditto. All right. He attacked us. 24. 24. Guess what? That's not better than my defense or yours. He don't do shit. Okay. So he misses us. Over to you. See if you can hit him. All right. I'm going to roll my dice. I have to get under over 42. Correct. That's a 54. That's over 42. That'll do one more damage. And 86 will definitely push him right off the edge. They die. So then we do... Oh, wait, wait. So we... Um... Okay, I didn't get that. It says, if your attack would kill the target, roll a die six for affecting this aura of my interrogation. Ah, okay. So if I killed him... Then I would have had the opportunity to ask him if he was from Spain. <laughs> ah. All right. So now that he died, we enter the loot phase, which everybody rolls their d10, and if you get a 10 or better, there's things that will modify it, obviously. Okay. Then you get to get to find some loot. I got a two. I got a nine. He's so close. So close. Oh, but you said there were modifiers. We, we don't have any yet. <laughs> you know what I was thinking? Like, nine, I gotta get that. Because you realize, nine, you're so close. Yeah, mathematically, but in a roll, no. I Literally, it was a one in ten chance. Nine, oh, you're so close to a ten. Are there modifier? No, then this was exactly the same if I rolled a four. <laughs> we forgot to give ourselves bandages, because we should at least... I think we both have bandage. I get a bandage, which is... This one? Oh. Why do I have this? Flip it over. Bandages, recover four vita. Oh, yeah, crossbow bandage, starting equipment. All right, so we completed the skirmish. We then end up... Tyranny thanks you for driving the brigands away and saving the church from being burglarized. He explains this area has begun to attract an unsavory element, but that there are calamities far worse to the north. He says the priest received... This a few days ago, he left immediately to investigate. Without warning, he lifts the covering from the table, revealing a bloody mass of fur and flesh. Do you have fur and the... flesh? Fur and flesh. Fur and flesh. Fur. Oh, fur flesh. Fur and flesh. Oh, fur and flesh. Fur and flesh. Because you, I thought I thought fur and flesh. Like it's the flesh of a fern. New, that's altogether a new word for me. Yeah, it's the flesh of the fern. Mm -hmm. Um. Making sure we're still going. It doesn't going. make noise, unfortunately. Yeah, it's still recording. Okay. After the last time? <laughs> yes. Well, the problem was there's two settings I can have. Uh, four, five, well, five settings I can have it on. First setting is like 4K, but it cocks out after 10 minutes. And one where it's like 2K, but it, it, after um, 20 minutes, it pauses for like two seconds as it, as it saves it and starts another file. Um, there's a reason why you ever notice there's, there's, there's a sudden black spot for like two seconds in every video we do. Oh, okay. Because after a course 20 minutes, it saves that file and starts another one, but there's a two second gap. So you hear the audio, but there's just a blackness for like two seconds, which is something I just kind of accept. 
But if I do the other setting below it, which is 60 frames per second at 1080p, which is kind of a cool setting, it's also limited to 10 minutes. All right, so now we need to do a nerve check. Do you have nerve? I have nerve. So you need to get four or better on a skill check. So skill checks are always your D10. I'm fine. I roll a five. You're good. All right. So we success. So we steady ourselves against the revolting sight and become centered and recover one vita. Which is good because I'm only down one one vita. And I'm still down three. All right. Apparently you're Indiana Jones. I am. After recovering from the shock of such a disgusting sight, you examine it more closely. It seems unnatural. Microphone wasn't on. No, it was. Okay. Uh, the curator explained the wolves have been seen devouring people in the north. A group of Ostalink hunters tracked this one down, but no matter how many arrows and spear tips pierced its flesh, it would not stop moving. They brought it to the alchemist first, believing it was bewitched by some evil curse. Its form shifted and changed periodically in startling phases. It only stopped after that stone was removed from its stomach. He points to a small pebble encased in glass on a pedestal near the table. Neither the priest nor the alchemist know what it is, but they fear it is related to the source of the trouble in the north. Go to Ostalink and seek out the missing priest and inquire the people where they found this creature. It is of dire importance that you find the wolf beast's lair. Here are a few coins to help you with your journey. You are welcome to rummage through our cellar and see if you can find something useful to take with you. Return with news when you have found our priest. So each character receives one coin. Yeah, one. Oh, out here? Yeah. And we draw two item cards from the top of the stack. And then we find out how we want to share those with each other. So, okay. my whip is one-handed. What's Belt your... of celery. No, sorry. Celerity. Cel celebrity. <laughs> Celerity. Celerity. Celebrity. <laughs> and the bale hook. I'm, only I'm the candy man. Sorry. I'm only using a one-handed weapon, so I wouldn't mind this. I'll take this one, because I'm, I'm using a two-handed weapon. So, that'll give you a plus one to your stride. Dun, 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 dun. So, that will be a one where you want to mark down plus one stride. Okay, uh, can I, is my, I have to recover an ammo. Uh, as soon as you finish the combat. Oh, it goes back up? Yeah. Also, oh, that's where my capacity is. You reload. At oh, the it's end one, of it, combat. Exactly. It's one of those three clips crossbows. Yeah. Yeah. Like you saw in um, Van Helsing. Yeah. Which was also a witch hunter. That's right. Yeah. All right. <laughs> um, outside, you board your waiting stagecoach, which hastens your journey to the village of Ostalink. All right, so on the world map, um, I become the leader, so it becomes nighttime. Nighttime. Um, and then we journey on our way using stride. We can stop in villages. Uh, it's not recommended to go off road, so basically we've got to go all the way that way. So it's going to off road. Okay, because there, are, I guess there are, are these segments. Yeah. And then these are segments as well, but they're off-road. Correct. And the off-road ones are way worse for us right off the bat. Okay. Because, like every fantasy world, it's incredibly hostile. Like, to the point where nobody should be alive in this world. If you, you step off the road. You step off the road and you just friggin' die. Pretty it's like, much. It's like, it's, like, it's like when my friends were playing World of Warcraft, they're saying how immersive it is. It's like, it's, you realize, no society, the planet cannot operate to, uh, and be this dangerous. Yeah. It cannot work. Civilization no. cannot sustain itself. If the moment you walk out of a city, some yeah. dude walks up to you and just knifes you in the stomach. Yeah. Just doesn't work. No. So, um, I will go. So, we can move up to my stride, which no. is four, unfortunately. One, two, three, four. What's my stride? I'm going to what my stride is. Because I have a bonus to my stride, but four. So, I have five stride. Yeah. So, we're moving as fast as you. Because it's your turn. Oh, and we also have the stagecoach, so I get a plus one. Oh, stagecoach, where's that from? Uh, that was our, we get the plus one from the stagecoach. You coach. know, staring at that manual, mm -hmm. I kept on thinking to myself how reminis reminiscent that manual's layout mm -hmm. and production value, and like, it looks identical to the to the uh, storybooks in another game, mm -hmm. uh, which is Grimslingers. Mm -hmm. 
And then I realized, right, because Grim Singers is also done by Green Beer. Mm. It's the only game I have from them. And they're like, oh, this look, it looks like Grim Singers. And then, oh, yeah, Grim Singers make Grim. And I realized, yeah, I bet you exactly all the same people did this, did work on Grim Singers, because the art design is really, really well in this game, and the art design is really good in Grim Singers. Difference being is this game's actually good, though. Yeah. Um. So nighttime, we encounter Brigland. Can Brigland. Yeah. Or or do dogs can dogs literally like no they can they, the door. they can just open the door handle. Yeah. No, <laughs> she didn't close the door. Cool. All right, brigands traveling the road at night with uh, was dangerous, as we soon discovered. The leader must pass awareness seven. Nobody has. You have awareness. I do, but I, oh, I'm the leader. Break. <laughs> So I got a plus one to... Uh, it wasn't much, but... Six. Which is plus one is seven. I pass. Oh, nice. Uh, you were aware. So we noticed them among the trees, so we skirmish with highwaymen. Oh. Again, the highwaymen. Highwaymen. Really? really? Yep. yep. We already know what they're going to be. Oh, uh, nope. They're not four necessarily. We don't know yet. Let's find out. One, 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 one. Nope. Three. And if you pass the check, reduce the skirmish counter by one. Now, if we rolled a one and skirmish counter by one, we did they just blow up? I guess so. Just ah. <laughs> All right. So you're now the controller. So you roll for the bad guys. Okay. Roll crappy. That's not crappy. Six. So we get hit with 1d4 damage. I get two. I take one. Bum, bum. And then we begin. So, let's see if I can hit these guys. 47. 47 will hit. 44 hits as well. I almost thought it didn't, but I forgot I actually have a bonus to my might. Yeah. So, boop, boop, they're, they're dead. dead. Oh, and we should have got four coins from killing them last time, so... Um, eight. Four and four. Because we would split, right? Four and four. Yeah. So we have a total of five. Yeah, but I'm, I'm actually with the church, so... Eight. <laughs> and now I'll give you a pittance. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right. And we're done. That was that quick skirmish. Psh, dead. And now it's day time. That's my turn. And so we went one, two, three, four, five. There we go. That's where we start. And now I'm I'm controlling. You are in control now. No, but I'm faster. But should we be moving at the, at the slowest person, which is you? Nope. You always move at this at the person. Now you can stop in the town if you want, but we don't really have much money, so it's not really much point. Well, my stride is four plus one, so it looks like we are. We have six, or five. You, so you have five plus six because you have the plus one of the stagecoach, right? Stagecoach, yeah, because. The stagecoach always moves exactly one higher than people walking. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So now we do a daytime event. So fauna. Um, we found a... Oh, I'm having issues with my eyeballs for some reason. Sorry. Fauna. We found a wounded fawn. Laying on the edge of the path, a foul claw stuck into its ribs, oozing green ichor. Anyone care to must pass Ecology 6 to learn something about the Claw and gain 15 lore. Arcology? Failure causes you to injure yourself on the Claw and gain a Corrosion token. Arcology, you said, or eco eco Ecology? I don't have either. I have no Ecology either. Do we want to... So it's in, what, what's the skill level? 6? Six? 6. I Because failure causes you to injure yourself on the Claw and gain a Corrosion token, I don't really know what that is, but I don't like it. Okay, I'll do it then. All right. Uh-oh. Corrosion token. Which... Could you have just said no? <laughs> You're like, nah, screw it. Uh, oh, I bet you it's probably one of these ones. Status effects. Corrosion. Corrosion. Nope. All right. Corrosion. Probably a token around here. Corrosion. 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 Page 20. Yes, yeah, so it's condition. Cor it looks like that. It looks like... So lose one Vita for four rounds. Yay! I guess that means every round I lose four one one Vita. Yeah. So, Alright, so that's that was that turn. And it's got a nice little thing here, actually, which is <coughs> kinda nice. So this is the four. So as I use it, I will rotate it in whichever number is up right. So it's a nice little 
It's a well thought out tracker. Mm, cool. Anyway, it is now nighttime. <laughs> nighttime. One, two, three, four, five. Freshly bitten. Oh, I see that as a half one in the daytime. Uh, a feverish young man sat near, sits near the road. Uh, we saw he was trembling with bloodlust. Any one character must pass a speech six to help the man control his thirst for Another blood. Speech. He's a vampire. Uh. Yeah, it looks like it. Okay, but you need a speech. Can't they use faith? No. Oh, you tried the last one. I'll try this one. Okay. But can you, like, opt to just like, leave him alone, or do you have to do the check? Uh, I have to do the check. Just, just say, just, just look at a regular hobo. Just leave him alone. Seven! Seven! You got him. So you become respected, which I'm guessing is another s token, which... Page 20 probably will show me that one. Uh, infected. Infected. Uh, Infected. Corrosive. Targeting. Respected. Nope. You have proven to stand up to the downtrodden of this land, gain plus one speech and plus one trickery. So now, of course, I will never have another speech challenge for this game. Of course. That's that's pretty much how that'll work. Yeah, that's how that works. So that was it. That's it. Daytime. Daytime. So you want to go? your five. You're, it's daytime for you. I, just I, 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 I was nighttime. Oh, you're nighttime. Oh, already. One, two, three, four, five, six. So fighting back, a group of militia were gathered nearby, planning a strategy to fight the horrors emerging from the countryside. We assist. We are doing daylight. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, we assisted them in planning a preemptive strike to destroy the evil. The leader must pass. Speech five. You're the leader. I'm going to roll a one. Speech five. Okay. Ten. It's I, eleven. I speech the fuck out of this. <laughs> you did. <laughs> Gain a random militia, militia companion. All right. <laughs> Failure. The battle goes badly and all characters lose one companion or two die for it. Bob. Minstrel. Brave Sir Robin ran away. Bravely ran away, away. So, do I get this or do we get this? Is this you get that. So you absorption have one from nature attacks and snares. What is he? Uh, that's just it. Uh, that's it. That's all he does. The other militias are better. I can imagine, but he sings about my awesomeness. Okay, so that's your card back. So it's now night time. No, it's night time again. All right, so just by it's always going to be you doing night time and me doing daytime. Unfortunately, yes. The archaeologist always moves at night. I <laughs> guess that means I'm sleeping in the daytime, One, two, three. and you're sleeping at night. So we don't pull an event card because now we're in the town of Eurotrusk. So this is the services available. Oh, did we get any money at all? No, okay. we haven't done anything. So here's the services that are available in the town. Mm -hmm. As well, you will notice, if you look at your booklet, there are special bonuses you get for towns. Oh. Because you're you. Now, let's see, is there anything that... And that would have been another. So finally, I'm no longer corrosive. Oh, look at this. Church... Oh, hey, I was at the Church of the Crossroads. I could have gotten a faithful item. Once per story, gain one holy water token for free. Yeah, grab the holy water because we didn't know that. Is that not? That's an item, right? Yeah. Yeah, my my church of the crossroads would have cost me seventy five coin. So I have a total of eight coin, and I need to get healed. So apothecary. Nope. Where is it? So everything here costs a bazillion dollars, so... Yes, and that's where these guys aren't too bad. So you got Physician. Here we go. So five coins, Bandage, 15 coins. I can't afford any of this. So one coin, Stitches, recovers one Vita. So I'm going to be spending all of my coin, so I'm broke now. Okay, I am not going to spend my money. 
I'm gonna keep my salt because I I'm I'm, I'm I'm witch hunter, so you know blood like a little bit of bloodletting is always. Uh, All right, you know, carry on. Oh no, yes, because that was me. So it's you now. Is it okay? I and mean, we're heading towards Ostelink. Ostelink, yeah. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Daytime. Daytime. Undertaker. Oh, this is gonna go well right from the start. We traveled by a small roadside graveyard. An old man, busily digging new graves, noticed us. His hands were blistered, and he asked for us to set asked us for a set of bandages. One character may discard a bandage to receive eight lore. Otherwise, he becomes angered, and the group must skirmish with the Undertaker. Really? He just he just fights us. No, unless he's the Undertaker, in which case we're screwed. Let's kind of see, let's see, see what how bad yeah. this guy is. Turns out he really is the Undertaker. He, he looks like the singer from uh, Pantera or something. He's actually pretty powerful. Wow, must be the sickle. But anyway, I'll, I'll, I'll just work, just got a bandage. I'll take the lore. Okay, so you get eight lore. Okay. All right, so where's my lore? Uh -huh. Lore, lore, lore. Eight, there we go. Let's well, see, I put my coins in my lore spot. That was wrong. All right. So, fight time! But you, One, we get to the destination, though. Two, three, four, five. We don't? We fell short. God, you're so slow. Why do horses always move slower with you? I know, right? Vampiric mist. Oh, this is going to go well. <laughs> compared, to, <laughs> compared to the... Uh, why can't you have the the, 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 the fairy mist? Or the, the fairy the, mist. The nymph fist. <laughs> the nymph fist? That's not good. The no. nymph fist is No, awesome. no. <laughs> nymph mist. <laughs> nymph fist is a porno I saw the other day. <laughs> Nymph mist might also be a porno too. <laughs> yes, but I'm I'm less interested in seeing that one. Uh, a blood red mist wound its way down the dark path ahead of ahead and engulfed us, filling our lungs. All characters lose two vita. Good to know. Just just like that. It's good. Bam. And must roll a d10. And what are we looking for? Don't get a one. I rolled a ten. You're good. I guess I should have rolled ten. We, I rolled another ten. It was we, fate that I rolled that ten. If we had rolled the one, we would have gained bloodlust. Which would have been bad. Just All right. Funny. Daytime. Daytime. Which means we get to... Ostalink. Ostalink. Which, now we go back to the storybook. All right. This is so much like... Uh, you haven't played Grim Slingers, have you, though? No. Because Grimslingers, and like Grimslingers, is a card-based version of this. So not a very good game, then. You don't like this game? Oh, Grimslingers. Oh, I'm thinking Dread Draw. No, Dread Draw is. Oh, is I'm thinking Dread Draw. Yeah. No, Grimslingers. Uh, this has a better combat card mechanic, but um, yeah, one day I'll show you. Okay. Northern Territory. Uh, my eyes are getting tired, so you're taking over. We're okay. right there. Youth Town Services, only the Physician and Gypsy Caravan Services are available in the town of Lost Lake during the story. Hey, I have that. Gypsy, oh, and the Gypsy Encampment? No, Gypsy Caravan, we don't have, okay. Yeah. In Austin, the streets are deserted with the excep exception of an occasional townsperson hurrying home or a drunk vagabond asleep in the, in the alley. Sounds like Prince George. The few villagers you see scurrying on their way pause only to regard you with, a cautious, with cautious stares. You raise your arm and call out a friendly greeting, time and again, without, with only quickly averted eyes as a response. It does not take much to sense that something is wrong. You catch sight of a street urchin, which is that giant uh, sphere with all the spikes on it. See, I, I think of urchin as, what's the, what's the game, urchin? Uh... Someone says street urchin, and it's just this big spiky little fish rolling by the street. Yeah, and see, I, I imagine, like, do you ever play a game, Westwood uh, games, like old computer games? It was called uh, Knox. No. Oh, they're, they're little guys with little horns. No, they're called urchins. Cool. You catch the, the sight of a street urchin eyeing you from a side alley. Unlike the rest, it seems her, her curiosity is winning over her caution. You wave her over and she hesitantly approaches. When you ask her about the town and why everyone seems afraid, she looks nervous and says, Many people are worried because of the strange things that are happening. It is worse 
Don't judge me. It is worse in the countryside, and a lot of the farm folk here have come into town. The inn is completely sold out. You ask the girl what she knows about the wolves and the priest. For a moment she feigns ignorance, but after a bribe of food, she tells you about the many recent wolf sightings. She warns that some have claimed that the wolves seem to change in the moonlight. <laughs> With a full mouth, the urchin said she knows nothing of a visiting priest, but you might be able to find out answers at the end. Choose your path. Will you give the urchin some spare change? Choice one, one character may give the street urchin a coin. If you have one, the character to do so must read story, blah, blah, blah. If you decide to be uncharitable, the leader must read, blah, blah, blah. I will give a coin because you, you, you blew all your money on AI. I course. did. That is a horrible eraser. Yes, my pen eraser suck. Okay, whoop, I'm, okay, so, um, story 25 on page 46. So it's last, it's like the last three pages of the book. 25 and 46, 25 and 46, 25 and 46, 25 on 45, 26 on 46, 25 on 46. Okay. As saints, you toss a coin to the filthy child who catches it midair and makes the shiny disappear quickly as a blink. She turns to go, but then pauses to say, I know one more thing. The wolves like to hide in tall grass, ambushing their prey. Be careful. Gain the blue story marker. You do. Oh. Because you paid her. Okay. The story markers are awards that can either cause a positive or a negative event later in the story, but players will not know which is the case until it is revealed. Don't read ahead in the story. A story marker cannot be given to another character. Once the story is completed, all story markers are discarded. Anyway. True to the urchin's words, the inn is bursting with people and heated conversation. Most of the patrons look to be farmers, with the occasional merchant in the crowd. The room goes quiet as you enter, and you sense that you are not welcome. The innkeeper speaks. What is your business here? You tell the crowd that you are looking for information, specifically about the missing priests and strange wolves that have been giving the town trouble. The innkeeper growls. We don't know anything about a priest, and we can take care of a few wolves without any help from the likes of you. His words are fierce, but you notice several of the patrons look uncertain. Ignoring the other's uncertainty, he, he continues. We have no rooms here. You can have a drink, but afterwards, it's just you move on. We have a story skill check. Trickery 7. I have trickery plus 1. Wow. The archaeologist is a lying bastard. Okay. Oh, you also got plus 1 of trickery too. Ow. Because oh, right, because I actually picked up a something. Yeah. A blessing. So, rock, paper, scissors for it, or? I've been making the checks. I okay. thought you had a reward or something. 9. You win. Trickery 7 was actually it was a pretty... You definitely dodged... Oh. Okay. As you stick around, attempting to gather any information from the crowd, it is apparent that not everyone is happy with you being here. A bottle flies through the air right at you. You definitely dodge the incoming projectile. The bottle shatters against the wall behind you. Luck seems to be with you. Gain plus one on your next search roll. Okay. I'm just going to put it here. Temper plus one. The assault by the crowd has upset you. They are gaining confidence having made their first move. They are now getting ready for a good old-fashioned bar fight. If you decide to calm down the crowd to prevent somebody from getting hurt, read story 37 on page 14. Or, if you decide to teach some peasants a lesson for being uncooperative, read blah, 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 blah. So this is not a chat, a roll. We just got to make a choice. Yeah. Calm this crowd down to prevent somebody from getting hurt, which I'm sure requires speech. If you decide to teach these peasants... Peasants. Birds. <laughs> peasants a lesson for being uncooperative... Story moment 58 on page 58. Well, you're the leader, so your choice. Always my choice? No. Well, as the leader, yes. I have a feeling that if I'm a witch hunter, I am an arrogant dick. So, uh, some of the part of me, I want a fight, but I am always a guy who likes talking my way through. Well, let's do it then. 47. And the point is 37. We need to call on the angry mob. Choose a character to make a speech. Eight. You're the only one with speech, so... The character was hit by a bottle. We see a negative one penalty because the crowd was gaining confidence. You weren't, so... I was not hit with a bottle. Roll a d10 and get... Uh, was it eight? Speech eight, was it, or...? Yeah. No. 
Right. That day was that day was fainted. It just it wasn't gonna roll at all. It just okay. Skirmish with an angry mob, which is probably would have happened anyway. Oh, that's actually an angry mob. I can get that book to you. Back to you. All right. Okay. So there's only two of us. So one. Look at that. These this <coughs> angry mob is uh, not that good. Well, they are an angry mob. So I'll go on the attack. Yeah, I'm gonna go on the attack too. All right. So you were the leader. So. Oh. And twenty nine is a fail on my defense. And mine as well. All right. Let's kick these guys' butts. Would you like to do the honors? I would like to do the honors. What's the? What do we have to get? About forty two. Yep. Forty two. My minstrel is singing about... You think a minstrel singing would have woe the crowd over? Wow. Devastating strike. So that 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 is 100. We're, yep. gonna, we're taking that as a roll. So I roll a zero. Zero. So that means I roll a critical strike. You critical strike. They're definitely dead. I don't even get to roll. So you wait, get wait, wait. I can do my Inquisitor thing. You can do your Inquisitor thing. I have a Master of Interrogation, which is oddly enough useful. You may interrogate a mortal creature instead of killing them. Or them as a group. If your attack would kill the target, roll a die six on the effectiveness of your interrogation. Six. Gain plus five might against the next affliction. Affliction being bad guys. Okay, so we're plus five. Cool. All right. So we dealt with that angry mob. And I taught them a lesson, and I talked them, and I, and I, and I beat the crap out of them, and got some information. All right. So, the tension leaves as quickly as it escalated. These villagers villagers are scared. It explains their short fuse, but it is more surprising how defeated they seem once they've calmed down. <coughs> it's as if they believe no amount of fighting will help. After peace is restored, a farmer approaches you nervously and says, Your priest passed through my land inquiring about the way to Nurian's Hollow. Uh, I told him of a shortcut I know. A day later, crazed wolves came down out of those hills, devouring my livestock and attacking my family. We ran here to Osterling to find help, but everyone's too scared to leave town. If you agree to destroy these wolves, I'll tell you about the shortcut. So, we get to choose an option. You know, technically you're still the leader. Okay. So the option is you decide you cannot spare time to help him with his woes, or we help the farmer with his troubles. I'm going to help him. He does. All right, cool. That throws us straight into our first encounter. No, how, how do you know it's that one? Is this says so? Oh, you just knew which one that was. Okay. Yeah. So, where do I go? All right, so we start in these four squares here. And then I need three rabid wolves and a stick man. That's the stick man. Really? Yep. Oh wait, did you have you been taking your four damage? I did. Okay. Yeah. Well then I really want you to hurt yourself, but And if you could then slap a magnifying glass on the well. Okay. So you can move diagonally. Okay. Uh, but if you were here you could not traverse diagonally to this because this would be in the way like the edge of this thing would be in the way mm -hmm. so you'd have to go one two three around that way mm -hmm. and that is about it hey okay, you're missing one. Mm -hmm. Oh, was there only three no oh, that's, that's the, the stick man so that's the third one so there's two of us so now this is where things get a little fiddly unless you got the do I plus five might against these guys yep now what does that do? Uh, might, might is yours. With Attack. Crap, yeah. So I have a better chance to hit these guys. So we got three of these left. So we didn't have three last night. So we will just set the top as the health for each of these. So this guy is 13. Well, they're all 13. but So that one's that one. Yeah, double-sided, which is kind of nice. 13 for that guy. And 13 for, you guessed it, that guy. All right, so, counters. Here we go. So, uh, encounter, okay, so... 
try to make sure which way we go in order. I believe. Oh, yes. So, uh, you roll. So, let me just double check this. So, we're having our encounter. So each group roll. So the characters and the foes. So you're rolling for your for our characters. I'm rolling for the foes. And you roll a d10. Ten. Cool. We get first strike. Cool. Which means we get to go first. Um. And on your turn, you can do each of these in order. So you move. Uh. There we go. So, you move, you act, you interact, you companions, you use consumables, abilities, equip or trade, and then, yes, so that is, those are the things you can do. So, basically, <coughs> move, act as an attack, and these guys are very bad because if they do a vicious bite, we become sickened, which makes you end up basically being disadvantaged. Okay. Which is not good. I would be homeless. Disadvantaged. Okay, so now what? And the attack defense doesn't matter. So now we just decide who goes first. I'll go first. Okay, so move and attack. Or you get to your range, so you just te technically don't need to. Yes. And you don't have a range. Nope, you don't have a range limitation on your thing. So basically, as long as nothing blocking line sight, you can shoot across the entire board. Okay, so I can shoot that dude, for example. Correct. Um, oh, should I roll that way? Five and one. Fifty-one. So his defense is forty-one. So you hit for sure. Yeah, because I also still had the hat and I still had my might. So, so I do one die. I don't need that. Uh, one die four plus one. Yep. Um, what does focus one mean? F uh. That's an excellent question. Let me look that up, and I'll answer that for you. Hey, is this wolf a mortal creature? Uh, it should say on there. Folk gain plus blank might with this weapon if you attack the same foe as the previous round. Also, if I attack him again next round? Yeah. Okay. Because if he's a mortal creature, I'd love to interrogate him. Two. Two. Plus, plus your damage is modifier. Is plus one. Uh, plus two. Two, so three. So I do five points of damage. Okay. So then we take this guy. And we take him down by three, which brings him to eight. Oh, that's status pack. Okay, I didn't see that. So that's not permanent. I actually have to go... All right. So. So. Now it would be me. Okay. Because I think you've done all your actions. Yes. Because you've got that thing over there. So yes. Is that my all. thing? My thing? You reference card. Yes. So I think that's all the actions. So I am melee. Is it? Or I've got a range. Oh, I've got a range of two. Or melee. You know, I'm just going to really try and get up in this guy's face. So, one, two, three. And then I'm going to whip and also use the hook at the good. same time. So, hopefully I don't miss. 48. What's his defense? 42. 41. All right. So, I hit. So, I do a d4 and a d4. Are you, are you attacking that guy? Yeah. Did I? Are you attacking the same one I did? No, you attacked that one. But what? We should coordinate. Oh. Obviously, you, know, you don't play D&D &D that much. You always <laughs> coordinate. <laughs> so four, you did two, two. two die four damage? Yep. Because I bail hooked him and whipped him at the same time because one hand each. Um, so that's uh, <coughs> seven, eight. Eight points of damage. So he's down to five. All right, so now they attack. So they will stride up to their... Uh, 
Let's write as five. Yeah, so one, two, three, four, five. Bad day for me. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four. So one attacking you and two attacking me. So uh, let's resolve the ones attacking you first. Okay, so my might is your defense. Yeah, that's plus four, plus nine. That's my attack, gotcha. Yeah. So it's 38. 64. That is definitely a hit. So okay. now, I need to see that. think for a second. Or I'm trying to remember how this works again. We though I just played it the other night. Da -da 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 -da. Special instructions. Include. Okay, so. They, oh, right. So, oh, that's right. I was supposed to roll this at the same time. So, four. Take down. So the wolf leaps at you, swinging his claws, uh, three Vita. and get pushed one. Not you, me. Oh. Or did, oh, that's right, I did you. It was, it was me. Yeah, so. One, two, three, four. Okay. Uh, three Vita. Gotcha. All right. And get pushed one. Yeah, so pushed. Which is kind of funny because then if they try to do a follow-up attack like some of them do, mm. now you can't because mm. they're out of range. Gotcha. All right, now you do your two on me. Uh, 62. That's a hit. And four, so same, same thing. thing. Three right up, push one. All right, so. One, two, three. Okay. And the other one can't, can't go. He has, to, he has to move. Yeah. 67 for and one. Same thing. Yeah. Pushed again. You want to turn right, around now, mm -hmm. here's the thing you're not going to like. Okay. It's kind of Gloomhaven. Okay. To investigate these, we have to do it before the battle ends. But because we don't have cards that exhaust on us, it's not that big a deal, really. Okay, so, yeah. So, really, if we kill two of these guys and then run and do those, we're done. That's still dumb. Eh. It's very Gloomhaven, but... I know, but it's one of those things, oh my god, the world is collapsing around us. Yep. No! Crusher figured it out. Hmm? Crusher can figure it out. Yeah, exactly. She went through, she jumped through the bubble. Yep. All right. So, back to the beginning of the round. So, can I use that bandages in game? Yes, absolutely. Like in combat, just. Yeah. You can you use them? It's a. Uh, Excuse it's, me, Wolf! It's right under. So, we go first. Yeah. Ooh. 39, but I have plus 9, so I got to... Now, are you counting this as plus 9, or...? No, I'm counting the, my might bonus is 4, yep. which itself would have been enough to go over 41, but I also have my plus 5 might for my next affliction, so I do get him. Correct. All right, so now I roll your damage. D4. Kick his butt. 1. That's not how you kick his butt. Now, do you have a... Let's I, can re I can re-roll a range attack roll. That's if I, if I miss. No, okay. It's not a re-roll for that. So... Uh, two. Two. Which is actually three. Well, no, two, three, so it's four. No, it's two, so it's... Yeah, it's three. I do three damage. Three damage. No, because it's plus one here, remember? So yeah, one plus, plus one, one. plus two is three. So three, so it's four damage. So... Plus two, plus one is three. I roll a one, so it's four. Yeah, so that's what I was saying. I was, I was, you were saying three. Yeah. But it's four. So I, can I throw this holy water? You can, because it's consumable. Yeah, it's thrown for one die four. Yeah, go for it. Uh, I don't think you have to roll. You just throw it, don't you? Or thrown for one die four. If I roll a 37, which once again is still going to give you a, be a hit for me. Okay, so then roll your d4. One plus... He's dead. Oh, actually, how many points do I have left? Four. Oh, good. So I did get him. He Yay! dies. Now, did you, you, you wanted to interrogate him, right? I don't... Is he a mortal creature? Uh, How do you know that? <clears throat> I don't know. I th yes, because he's yes, he's corporeal. Yeah. Okay, so I can't question the undead. Correct or ghost. I talk to the rabid wolf. If it's have killed your target, lose one lore for your brutality. <laughs> so you lost a lore. I don't know where that goes. Yeah, no. but you don't you don't have lore, so it's zero. Yeah. 
nonplussed. It would have been nice if I convinced them to reveal a useful Actually, piece no, of... sorry, you would have had ten, so you have nine lore now and two coins. Oh, because I killed him? Yeah. All right. It would be nice if, if I had, um, your target refuses to talk. Your newfound knowledge allows you to regain one PowerPoint. You convince them to reveal a useful resource. I, it's... Yep. All right. This guy's hurt, but this guy's <clears throat> not that hurt. I'll, or this guy's not hurt at all. I'll, I'll, I'll be there. I'm going to go here and to kick this one's butt. Nope, this one's this one. Because this one isn't hurt. Cause this one, yeah. You can fight diagonally, though, right? That seems like obvious. If yes, you, you can. You can hit diagonally. But I'll stay there. And no, that it goes a big deal. All right, let's see if I hit. 93. I think that's a hit. Wish I could have got 100, though, because it would have been a devastating strike, but no. Finish him! Pretty much. All right, so this guy's full health, so let's see what I can do to him. So those two guys are just going to keep on attacking you? Unfortunately. I should just stay back here and fire arrows. So two, two, four, five, six. Six points of damage. Can I shoot and then get into base base? Or do I have to move first? I know it says I can do it in any order. So I can shoot and then move. Yes, correct. My minstrel is not doing much. He's thinking about how awesome I am, though. That's something, I think. To fight and win. Let's just do that. So. All right. Unless I, as I flee, and then he's like... All right. The danger rears his ugly head. He tucks the tail and gives you fight. <laughs> All right. Do it. Do the damage. 94. Ouch. Hamstring. He pulls his hamstring. The wolf... Ah! Uh, the wolf straw rips at your hamstring, lose one die, four plus one, one vita, and become immobilized five. So immobilized five. Wait, pushed immobilized five? Like, you just immobilized five? What is that? Immobilized five, what that means is that... Uh, negative receive minus ten might... I can pass an ecology five at the start of each round, or your stride becomes zero. The status becomes the status ends when the combat is over. So, resist with trickery. Ooh, I've got trickery. Okay. Oops, trickery skills. Ah, uh -huh. you thought it was my hamstring, but no. Oh, so yeah, no, yeah. I, I resist being immobilized, but I still lose one d four plus one vita. Two. Damn it. Like 46, I get you again. Three, take down. Yeah. And fight out and push one. One, two, three. All right. Not, not to worry, but I'm hurting a little bit here. Now, the question is... So this has four uses. How do I track that again? Uh, I have to fill it up. No, because you, you threw it, so that used it. It's gone. Okay. Um... Just throw it to the bottom of the item pile. Uh, now. <laughs> I didn't think I'd break it. It comes back. One, two, three, four. Mm. I can't get there. Well, we're going to kill one more. Well, yeah, I'm pre pretty much sure you're going to wail on one guy. Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, I, sorry, I didn't have, I don't have holy water anymore. So mm. maximum I can do. If I roll four, I can do seven. I can, uh, I can, this guy's I can got kill my five level and... four, but... I'm not. I'm not getting that impression. I'm going to be doing that anytime soon. It's my turn, right? So it I'm going to is. fire first and then move. Twelve. But I can roll. Reroll. Yep. Once per round. Fifty. Sixty. Hmm? Isn't that a ten when it's that one, or is it a zero? Well, it's five. Oh yeah. I guess no. It's fifty. It's five zero. Oh. Okay. Oh, I guess this is a ten. No, it's it's a, it's a zero. Oh, it's a zero. Okay. Yeah. That's the one thing I, I never knew about percentile dice. No, when it's the single death, if it's a zero, it's a zero. So it's 50, which it, it's still a hit. Which is weird, though, because when it's by itself, that's a 10. Yeah. <laughs> Four! He's dead! He dead. Because I do plus three damage. He did seven damage. He's dead. You show this guy. Yeah. All right, so you got... Uh, and uh, You can interrogate him. From a distance. No, no, no. Screw that. Four. All right. That was a bell's cock roll. Uh, you convince them to reveal a useful resource. Draw one on my <laughs> All right, here you go. Wood. 
<laughs> he gave you wood. <laughs> it, I could just see him mount. He gave you, me you, wood. You, you, <laughs> I, I think I'm using that rule wrong. <laughs> That wolf gave me wood. Here's when the group rests to skip rolling for a skirmish or road off-road event. How does wood do that? Because you start a fire, I'm guessing. I guess. Use when the group rests to skip rolling for a skirmish or road slash off-road event. Yep. Cool. So, um... Fucking wolf gives me wood. <laughs> All right, so it's your go. Um... You also, uh... Oh, I got, get, get, I get stuff. Lower of ten, 10 and two coins. Two coins. So and I will four. just go... One, two. And then I will try to do a skill check on the stick man. That was a crappy roll. And... What's the, um, what's the... What kind of scale does it use? Uh, what's the, uh, goal? What's the... Ecology. Ecology? Yep. I don't have that. Yeah, so you Unless cannot manage was... to get the scarecrow back on its post. It falls atop you, and I lose one T4 fight. <laughs> You're bad at this. Uh, it'd be really interesting. Ouch. It'd be really interesting that he survived the rabbit, wo- uh, rabbit wolf <laughs> attack, and then a scarecrow falls on you. And I, I might end up having to uh, use this one. <laughs> Anyway, um, he's going to go after me because I'm closer. I guess we're not getting to the well. Why? Because well, how, how, how many points does this guy have? Five. Oh, yeah. So, so yeah, so yeah, you roll. How's this guy got five? Because I walloped him before I ran away. Oh. Yeah. Okay. And now he hits. He does not. He, he does rolls not a 15. Hit you. Ha ha! Ha ha! All I right. can't get to the well anyways. Why? One, two, three, four. I, I don't know. I might miss. <laughs> 69. Nope, you hit. I might not do five damage. I do. You killed me. <laughs> yeah. All right. So I get 10 lore. Yep, and two coins. Did you want to interrogate him? Give up your <laughs> secrets, wolf. What is it with this roll? Seriously. Oh, I uh, missed this part. You would have got plus five might for the combat. That's okay. I, never, I, had, I didn't miss once. Because you had the blue story marker. Oh, you son of a bitch. After, after all that, giving that coin to that kid. Yep. You would have got... Oh, was it, was it just, just me? Yep. Got it? It's not like I missed. I after really. the wolves are dealt with, the farmer tells you, beyond is a path that will take you to an old burial ground. The mausoleum there houses a long-forgotten entrance into the caves of the Nurian's Hollow. That is where the priest went. He agrees to show you his shortcut and offers to join you. The leader gains farmer companion. You can have up to two companions with you. One plus one ecology and plus one max vita, which would be awesome if I was not down to 14. All right. Uh, companions provide... Mm-hmm. So, this is the only part that sucks. We don't get to heal going into this. <laughs> into the hollow. The path leads into an old burial ground. You see the mausoleum that holds... Oh, really? That's convenient. Yep. <clears throat> that holds the forgotten entrance to Denarian's Hollow. Uh, we just need a door token here from the bag of... Tokens. Oh, these. And then we need a skill check die here. Door? Yeah. And then we need a... Magnifying glass here, which I got. And a magnifying glass here. And another skill check die here. All right. Uh... So, primary goals. Move the characters to the exit zone and complete the map skill check in order to continue the story. Um, attention. Your skin crawls as you feel tension stirring in the air. The dead are restless today. What, can I, the, what, what do I use PowerPoints with, by the way? Certain things will let you use PowerPoints. Okay. Um, 
At the end of every round on this map, the leader must roll a d10. On 1 to 3, encounter 3 decaying dead. 4 to 10, nothing happens. We have minus 1 stride. And this requires a trickery skill. This is an awareness skill. And these are chances to find items. Okay. Or a snare, which causes damage to us. Joy. Yeah. You'll get so this is our start zone. Okay. And we got to get to there. Okay. Um, based on the fact that there's only two of us, I'm kind of thinking I don't want to screw around with all the extra stuff and just run for it. But it's up to you. You're the leader. Oh yeah, that's 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 high tailed. Okay, so we only have we have a stride of minus one, but you also have your belt of celerity. Yeah, so it's giving you plus one. So, so it cancels counters. out. Yeah. So my stride is four. Minus three, one, two, three. Four. And you also need to roll a d10 now to see if the bad guys pop. What do, what do we want? You want to get better than three. I roll an eight. Cool. So nothing happens. Yay. Next turn. One, two, three, One, four. One, two, three. I'm at the door. You're at the door. <laughs> Sorry. So actually, you probably want to go there. Now you need to do a trickery skill check. You need seven. Seven. I'm doing a six. I have a plus one. I nope. do not. And fail. Lose two Vita. Really? Yep. What, what, what am I doing? You hurt your hand. Apparently. Hurt your hand and then die. I'm not going to be touching that lock because I only have six Vita. Okay. So next round. So I'm just going to kind of move there beside you. So nine. you're here. Nine for the roll. So no guys again. No guys again. All right. So now it's a skill check to see if you can open that door. We just use the nine. <laughs> hmm? <laughs> use the nine. <laughs> I know, but hey, roll a nine. Wicked. So uh, unlock the door, remove it from the map. Okay. Next round, roll again to see if the guys pop on us. Can we just walk into the room? Nope. Nine! What is. I and like these black dice. I'm going to rule them from now on. We exit. And that is the end of the chapter. And that. That was the game? That was the game. Really? We avoided the end boss fight? Because he managed not to roll the uh, one to three. Oh, oh. And also, we didn't screw around trying to get all these things. And one to three. So one to three would have popped three and three decaying dead. What are they like? Uh, not fun if I remember correctly. Cause we well, nothing's. Did, it's a game. Why would it be fun? So there might have spontaneous decomposition. They explode if you roll a ten. Just ow. Yep. Defense thirty-eight. They're pretty easy to hit. How many points? Sixteen. Yep. No, twelve. Twelve. Yeah. Twelve hit points each. Yeah, it was sixteen when we were playing last night. So or the day before, yeah. So it's the same number of guys, but they just get more hit points. Yep. Interesting. Yeah, and that's how that scales. And that is uh, folklore. Now, what happened if you had been reduced to zero by, um, Vita? Uh, I would have to re look at the rule book because I basically ended up dying and becoming a ghost. Like forever. Uh, no, nope. 32. So... So is this persistent between games? It's persistent between chapters. But there's six stories in the story journal with three or four chapters each. Okay, so after those three chapters, you had a reset? You, I believe so, yes. Yeah. Um, so basically, I actually become... So if I was to have died, I would have became a ghost. You would have looked exactly the same, you just would have been blue. Yeah, and if I'd gone to a town, you guys could have, that, or you, could end up resurrecting me. I love how you have ghost points. <laughs> ghost points. You still inflict damage. Yep. And damage or foe for two Vita. How much Vita ghost points have? act as Vita. Oh. Cause a foe to reroll their attack value every time. Like three damage in a weekend and non afflicted So what basically, you run out of Vita here. Do you just. You're done. Oh, so you become alive? No, you're dead. So that's where you kind of balance, you know, you could use your ghost points to help out, or you could just kind of be like, oh, I'm just going to hang back, guys. I'm just going to, just going to attack. I'm just going to wheel people. Yeah, and then I'll die. So, there you go. Energy drain's pretty good. Just damage it out for two Vita. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think? 